One day last year, I was in the car with my dad on the way to school and work, respectively, and we were arguing. I don't even remember what we were arguing about, but I do remember that something was weighing on me. My dad finally pulled up to the school, to which I was late, and on an impulse, I told my dad that I didn't feel like I was a girl, but I didn't feel like a boy either. I'm pretty sure that before I even finished the sentence, I'd started crying. I don't really know why. My dad wasn't angry or upset. He said that he didn't really know much about this kind of thing, but he'll try to support me no matter what. Basically, I won the lottery of accepting parents. <laughs> don't get me wrong, I did go to the nurse's office and cry for the first two hours of school, but at the end of the day, my life was going to be fine, at least in this area. I myself have started coming to the terms with the fact that I'm on my area. And, I think, a gender to be more specific. That means I have no gender at all. A couple weeks later, we told the rest of my family at dinner. Almost right away, my little sister declared that she had about eight transgender stuffed animals, including me. <laughs> <laughs> including Perita the platypus. <laughs> It took them a while to get into the swing of it, but my family started to use my new chosen pronouns of they or, and them instead of she and her. One of my brothers did keep insisting that I was a girl, and I will admit that stung, but he got over it. I never really came out to many people after that, just because I don't really like explaining the entire concept of being either of the two commonly accepted genders in society. Admittedly, I did talk to my friends about it before my family, mostly because many of them are transgender themselves, and one of whom actually sort of planted the seed in my brain that I could be something other than a boy or a girl. California is one of the best places to live in America if you're transgender. Over a year ago, a law was passed here that said that transgender students in public school can use whichever bathroom, changing room, sports team, or the like that best aligns with their gender identity. However, that still leaves a lot of people out, including myself. Transgender people who live outside the binary of man or woman are often forgotten or ignored, even in the trans community. Technically, there are a couple gender-neutral bathrooms on campus, but they're very out of the way. One in the nurse's office, and one in the cafeteria. Not very accessible during class. And the school is probably not going to build a new gender-neutral bathroom anytime soon. In some stores, there are family bathrooms that aren't gendered, or there are bathrooms accessible for folks with disabilities that aren't gendered, but those rooms have their own purposes, and I always feel bad for using them. What is the purpose of having a gendered bathroom anyway? It's just a room with a sink and a toilet that everyone has to use every day. Non-binary people are essentially invisible to the gen general population. Many of us are just seen as your average girl or boy. Depending on the day, I could get either one of those. When people recognize that I exist, I feel so elated and relieved. When people use my correct pronouns, I feel respected and appreciated. Most cisgender or non-trans people don't even think twice about this kind of stuff, but I feel so radiant when people acknowledge me in this way. When I know people can see me the same way I see myself, I have so much hope. Hope that one day soon, everyone will see me and other transgender people as who we really are. <laughs>